Welcome to the introduction to the IHS Market Well Log Downloader. In this video, I will introduce the tool, its features, and its functionality, and provide a workflow example. The example will show how to create a search using filters, download your logs, save your search, and view your results. First, let's log in. You should have the icon on your desktop after you have downloaded and installed the tool. Double click on the icon and add your credentials. They will be the same credentials you use for Energy Portal. The tool will open and show a window with three areas. The top left is where you will specify your search criteria. To the right is where you can define your download options, and the bottom window will show your search results. The bar along the very bottom will update with counts of your logs and size of your downloads. Pay particular attention to this, as large volumes will take a longer time and can take up significant space to download. You may want to further refine your query to narrow your results. Let's look at each of these areas in turn, and then I will show a typical workflow example. Under the File menu, there is an option to create a new file or job, or open an existing one that was previously saved. Save will save the job you were working on, or use Save As to give the current job a new name. For example, if I have already created a query that I want to run or edit, I can choose Open, select the job, and then either run it or make changes to it. I will then likely want to choose Save to update the job and save my changes, or choose Save As to rename this and save as an additional job to keep the original intact. Exit will close the program. Under the View menu, there's an option to show or hide the preview window by clicking on the option. When it's enabled to show the preview, there will be a check mark beside it. The other options under View are to expand all search and collapse all search. Under Help, you'll find an option to click Entitlements, which will open in a new window and display your current area entitlements for raster and digital logs. Click OK to close this window. The About option will display the details about Well Log Downloader such as version. The top left area of the tool is where you define your query filters. You can filter on attribute by selecting an option from the drop-down menu. Depending on the option you choose, the other criteria will change to provide additional filters available for the chosen attribute. For some, you can type your selection and others you can select predefined options from a drop-down menu. If you choose the UWI as an attribute, you can choose List under the operator and add a UWI list. Once you've selected your filter, click Add to create your query below. As mentioned previously, pay particular attention to the bar along the bottom, as this will provide details of your counts and download sizes. To the right of the query window, you can select your download options. You can choose the type of log you wish to download, digital, raster, or both. Under Options, you can choose to include Catalog. This option creates a one-line CSV file. In this example, I have created a new job from under the File menu. I can now go ahead and select my query criteria. I want to see all logs in the Permian Basin that have been updated since January 1, 2016. In the Attribute field, I will select Region, for the operator, I choose Contains, and select the value Permian Basin from the drop-down menu. I will then click Add to start to build my query. Back under the Attribute field, I will select Updated Date. I can then set my From and To dates. I'll select January 1, 2016 to Current, and again, click Add. To the right, in the Download Options area, I can choose Digital, Raster, or Both. Note how the counts change in the bar along the bottom, 
as I select the different options. Remember that if you do not have the space required for that size of download, you will need to further narrow down your search. I'll select digital for this example. In the catalog, in the left column under display, there is an option to get log, and you can preview a raster or LAS in an associated application. Again, under the download options, you can select the box to include catalog. This is a one line per log CSV file that will provide header level details for each file you download. I will choose a destination directory for my downloads. In this example, C users, username, documents, well log downloader. I can choose the directory options to create a folder structure hierarchy for my downloads. This allows the application to break up my downloaded objects into their appropriate county or county code folders for storage. Selecting None will put all your content in the destination folder. Click the Save button to save your current search. For this example, I will save my query to the same folder as my download destination. When you are ready, click Download. You can watch the progress of the download, but you can also minimize the screen and work on something else while it continues in the background. No other intervention is required on your part. Depending on the location that you chose to download to, you can navigate here and see the final results of your download. If you choose Properties, you can see the final size of your content. This concludes the video for demonstrating the Well Log Downloader tool. Thank you for watching.